And good morning, grade 10 learners! I want to commend everyone that in spite of the ordeal we've been dealing for over a year now, you are here and always ready to learn. I am Mark Kenneth Mungaya of Polo National High School, your science teacher for today. The most essential learning competency that we will be discussing today is explain how protein is made using information from the DNA. The specific learning objectives are explain the complementary structure of DNA and RNA using a template, explain the role of DNA and RNA in the protein synthesis, and explain the events during transcription and translation. Prepare your modules now and join me as we dig to the wonderful science of building proteins, building you. After learning about DNA in your grade 9 class, have you ever wondered how can the DNA actually result in a trait? Let's take an example like the eye color. Yes, your DNA has the genetic information that codes for the color of your eyes. Your eye color is based on a pigment that is inside your eyes. But, in order to have that pigment, you have genes, which are portions of DNA that can code for proteins, which helps make the pigment. So, what we're going to talk about is how your DNA can lead to the making of a protein. The process is called protein synthesis. Synthesis essentially means to make something. So protein synthesis means to make proteins. Well, you may not realize this, but proteins are kind of a big deal. They do all kinds of things. Proteins are involved in acting as enzyme, in structure, in protecting the body, in transport of cellular materials, and so much more. You've got to make proteins. It's essential for you to live. And what is so cool is that you are making proteins right now as you sit and watch this video streaming. It's happening in your cells. They are making proteins. All of your cells have DNA. Well, a few exceptions, and the DNA is in the nucleus. We're going to talk about genes that are coding for active proteins. So, how are we going to get the information from these genes out of the nucleus so that the cell can start producing the proteins that it needs to make. Well, let's introduce you to the amazing work of the RNA. We'll be brief here in saying that RNA is a nucleic acid just like the DNA, but it has few differences which they are both nucleic acids. DNA is double-stranded, just like what you see earlier. RNA is single-stranded. DNA has the oxyribose sugar, while RNA has ribose sugar. The DNA base pairing are adenine to thymine and cytosine to guanine. A pairs with T, C pairs with G. RNA base pairing are adenine to uracil and cytosine to guanine. A pairs with U, C pairs with G. DNA is located in the nucleus and mitochondria, while RNA is in cytoplasm. Its role in protein synthesis is huge. In protein synthesis, we can look at two major steps. One is transcription, and the other is translation.
if you're wondering how did you know that the tRNA that went with the AUG codon would be carrying an amino acid called methionine? Well, for that, tRNA. Typically, at the end of the mRNA, there is a stop codon. Stop codon do not code for an amino acid, but when the ribosome reaches it, it indicates that the protein building is finished. Check your codon charts, which are the stop codons. So, the result of translation is that you build a chain of amino acids, colored circles on top, that were brought in certain sequences based on the coding of the mRNA. So, the DNA ultimately was the director of the entire protein building. Of course, it couldn't have done it without some serious help from mRNA, ribosome, and tRNA. Protein folding and modification may occur, and the protein may need to be transported. This can all vary based on the protein structure and function. Here are some exercises you can practice on. The DNA template is this, and the mRNA would be this. The amino acid sequence will be met for methionine, propropolin, tyre for tyrosine, lys for lysine, and the stop codon. Are you ready for the exercises? For exercise number one, the DNA template is this. You have 20 seconds to identify the mRNA strand and amino acid. Let's see if you are correct. The answers are this, the mRNA and the amino acids. Let's proceed with exercise number two. Here is the DNA template for exercise number two. The DNA template, and again, you have 20 seconds to identify the mRNA and the amino acids. Time's up. Let's see if you're correct. The answers are... To wrap up our learning session for today, protein synthesis is the process of making proteins. It has two processes, transcription and translation. 
Transcription happens in the nucleus where the mRNA copies the DNA code. Translation happens in the ribosome where the code from the mRNA is translated into protein by tRNA and ribosome. Once translation is done, protein will fold in unique ways based on how it will be used by the body. This whole process happens every time, even when you are sleeping. Okay, as for your home task, answer your science modules at week 4, part B, numbers 1 to 4. Any questions you have may be addressed by your science teacher during your follow-up discussion as he or she further elaborates this topic. That's all for today, learners. See you for another amazing science learning session. Again, I am Sir Kenneth. Goodbye for now.